can't see you there, CHS. And I guess it's time for CHS today. Good luck to all band students participating in ISMA District Solo and Ensemble tomorrow at Yorktown High School. There will be a student council meeting in Miss Combs room W261 today during SRT. All student council members should plan to attend. There is a Spanish club meeting in Senorita Brown's room tomorrow during SRT. Fringe club breakfast is scheduled for Monday, same time and location. Fringe club member check Google Classroom and sign up by the end of today. This is the final reminder. If you drive to school, you must have a parking sticker for this school year. You can get one at the bookstore. All academic team members are reminded that the next meet is Wednesday at Lincoln. Be ready to board the bus after the teacher's PLC meeting at 340. Also, if you have ordered and paid for a new t-shirt, come see Ms. Davis to pick it up. Fine Arts academic team members are reminded that they have practice questions in classroom. Make sure to check them before you, your next meet. The National Honor Society Senior Scholarship application is due next Tuesday. See the NHS Google Classroom page for instructions. Mr. Dirk's fourth period class will be eating first lunch again today. Today's lunch is boneless chicken wings, whole grain dinner roll, and Boston baked beans. Enjoy the mild temperature while it lasts because next Monday it will drop. Today the temperature will warm up to the 50s with sunshine. This weekend the temperature will be in the high 40s with a chance of rain on Saturday. Next week, the temperature will drop back down to the 30s. That's all for the weather. Now back to the desk. <laughs> no, literally. Huh? Now we're on the page. With the sports. Thanks, guys. The regular season came to an end for the girls' basketball team last night as they fell to East Central. Scoring for the Spartans were Jessica Beckman with 10 points, Tori Boswick with 5, Marley Smith with 4, and Giona Stream with 3. It will begin sectional play Tuesday at the Bolt versus New Palestine. All session passes for the girls' basketball sectional are on sale in the new athletic office in the main building at CHS. The price for the all session pass is $10. The cost of a single session is $6. You can purchase tickets from 8 to 4 until the sectional. The gymnastics team did not disappoint last night. Layla and Kinsey got their personal best score on floor, putting them in fourth and fifth place. Caitlin also hit her season best score, giving her second place at Whitney Owens was our first night of the season. Whitney won the bars, floor, and the all-around with Caitlin Burris coming in second for floor, all-around, and winning the beam. Their next meet will be Monday at home. One year ago, the Spartans traveled to Mount Vernon to play the Marauders and had a great game. The Spartans won the game 88-85 to in the fourth overtime. The boys face Mount Vernon tonight and tomorrow night. The Spartans will host the Indianapolis Manual. Both JV games start at 6.30 with varsity to follow. Come out and support the Spartans for a great weekend of basketball. That's all for sports. Now back to the desk with birthdays and activities. The only birthday for today is Hannah Kaplinger. The birthday for Saturday is Faith Spivey. <coughs> birthdays for Sunday are Allie Asher, Cody Toller, and Michael Hudson. Happy birthday. Activities for today are boys freshman basketball at home at 6. Boys JV and varsity basketball at home at 6. Activities for Saturday is wrestling at Franklin County at 9. And boys JV and varsity basketball at home at 6. All the day is change your thoughts and you change the world. It's Flannel Friday. We didn't plan it. And that's all for CHS today.